Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer, Thursday, the 30th of April, 2020. And it's my father's birthday. So happy birthday, Dad. Hope you have a good day at home today. So as we gather to pray this morning, and as we Psalm 93. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. He has established the world. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O lords. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. More majestic than the thunders of mighty waters more majestic than the waves of the sea, majestic on high is the Lord. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for evermore. Amen. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Lord God, our loving Heavenly Father, we come to you today acknowledging that whilst you are incomprehensible, by your grace you've made it possible for us to know you. We acknowledge your majesty and your absolute purity and acknowledge before you our sense of unworthiness as we come into your presence. Knowing our sin, Lord, we come asking your help to worship you in spirit and in truth. Physically, mentally, maybe spiritually, we are tired. And so we come seeking renewal of mind and refreshment of body. There may be burdens that rest heavily on us, worries and concerns that make us tense and over anxious. Give us, we pray today, your strength and your guidance, that we may lift our eyes to see those things which are truly eternal. Prize open our cold hearts with the radiance of your great love. Help us to understand the divine love and care which you offer to us. Is always available to us and give us faith to believe that you are with us now as we thank and praise you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, as we confess our sins, help us to trust completely this day in your forgiveness. For our lack of self-discipline, that so often we choose what we wish rather than what we ought to do. Forgive us, Lord, for our half-hearted obedience to your truth and to your way of life. Forgive us, Lord, for our failure to serve others and for our neglect of those who are defeated by their poverty, defeated by their loneliness or their lack of opportunities. And forgive us, Lord, for our sin and foolishness, which has made it easier for others to neglect your truth and doubt your everlasting love. And for these sins and for any other that weigh on our minds this morning, by your grace, give us the freedom now in your presence to confess our need of you. And by your strength, help us to amend our ways. May Almighty God forgive us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, give us time to amend our lives, and bring us the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our 
Our Bible readings over the next few weeks in morning prayer come from the Sermon on the Mount. And this morning we continue as we read in Matthew chapter 5, beginning to read at the 21st verse. You have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, You shall not murder, and whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult a brother or sister, you will be liable to the council. And if you say, you fool, you will be liable to the fire of hell. So when you are offering your gift at the altar, if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother or sister, and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are on the way to court with him, or your accuser may hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Truly, I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. Thanks be to God for his word. I wonder if at the moment you are binging on any particular TV box set, whether it be through um, terrestrial television or digital online media, uh, such as uh, Netflix or something like that. Well, one of my favourite go-to television series from the past, which is uh, already showing its age, it's 21 years since it first came out, is The West Wing. I'm very fond of that programme and will often just dip in and out to particular favourite episodes, but I'm also just watching through it all again at the moment, and so I don't know how many times I've been through the complete set. In one of the episodes... Um, President Bartlett and his friends are sitting around in the Oval Office and they're talking about Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. And in that particular episode, they're also talking about a discovery that Bartlett has made, which is on the day before Yom Kippur, there is another important day. It's called Erev Yom Kippur. And the point of it is this, that before you ask forgiveness of God, you need to ask forgiveness of your neighbour. And of course, that brings extra light to bear on this passage. Yesterday, we heard Jesus talk about continuity from the uh, or with the law of the prophets and the emphasis that Jesus was putting not just on that law uh, but also that we need to surpass it. How do we surpass it? By always allowing love to be the filter, be the glass through which we see all obedience to the Lord and in particular our love for God, our love for neighbour and our love for Christ and that will become more apparent throughout the whole gospel of course. And here in particular, Jesus reminds us that if we're to be truly reconciled to God, we cannot ignore our reconciliation that's needed with our neighbours. So quite simply today, the words of Jesus encourage us to ask the question, do we have something that's blocking our relationship with God because it's hindering our relationship with our neighbour? Jesus himself, not me, not an interpreter, not a commentator. Jesus himself says, leave your gift before the altar and go be reconciled to your brother or sister. Now, of course, we know that often it is as far as it depends on you. But you should make every effort today as I should make every effort. to Seek to live at peace with all. And to ask for God's grace and God's help and love to go with us as we seek to be his disciples. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bring to you 
now in our prayers all those for whom we love our families and special friends those near and far <clears throat> knowing that your love for them is much greater than our own and that your will for them is all that is for their good guard them in your keeping O lord and give them now and always your richest blessings Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you love us with an everlasting love. May that love which you have invested in our lives reveal itself in increasing loyalty to you, in the service of others, and in creating an atmosphere of helpfulness and joy. May we reflect your own love and so influence people to consider Jesus Christ as the hope of the world and confess him as their saviour and lord <coughs> lord in your mercy hear our prayer eternal god and father you create us by your power and redeem us by your love guide and strengthen us by your holy spirit that we may give ourselves in love and service to one another and to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. We share together in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen may the father's love enfold us the grace of christ uphold us the holy spirit guide us one god to walk beside us and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and with those whom you love and with God's people everywhere, this day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer today. Look forward to seeing you uh, this evening at 9pm when we will be continuing our journey through the book of Job. So stay safe, stay well, and once again, happy birthday, Dad. God bless you all. Goodbye. <laughs>